What's up, Film Jam's quarantine crew? I am here hunkering down in Bunker Town, and I've been working on my computer a lot lately, and I found a really cool tool where you can add clouds to your photos and videos. See these clouds? They're not real. These are, can you tell the difference? Just kidding, also not real clouds. So I have to thank my good pal, Jeffy Zampino, who shared this tip with us. And this is the Cloud Brush. It's a completely free preset and brush that you can download for Photoshop. I don't know, Film Jams, a free brush plugin that makes clouds? Sounds kinda horsey. So this week I'm gonna show you where to find these brushes, how to install them, and how to add some plush, gorgeous clouds to your photos and videos. Film so if like me, you've ever shot a landscape photo or video and just wish you had a few fluffy, cumulus nimbus clouds in the sky to set the mood, fret no more, farm boy. The cloud brush is here. Now, in the past, if I wanted clouds in my photos, I used to have to cut them out from stock photos or other photos I had in my library. But by using the cloud brush, you can be much more precise and create the exact size, shape, and placement of the clouds that you want. You can literally be your own weatherman. Cumulus, stratus, nimbus stratus, cumulus nimbus. You get the idea. It's pretty darn realistic and you can customize the settings to get exactly what you want. Hold up, Film Jams. I can add just as many clouds as I want. Just don't overdo it. I won't. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to install Cloud Brush so you can start clouding around too. Hm. It's quick and simple to install, and it's also a free preset. Hold up, Film James. Did you just say free? Yeah, it's free. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is close Photoshop if you have that open. So we're gonna close Photoshop here. So after you close Photoshop, you're gonna to wanna to navigate to brusheasy.com. And this is a website that has a number of different presets for Photoshop and some other brushes, etc and I'm gonna include below a link to brusheasy.com so you have the URL. So just look below the video description and we'll put that URL up for you. You can see this is the 24 clouds, brushes, and right here you're gonna click free download. Okay, cloud brushes here, save it. Let's check out how to install it. Okay, so once you have the brush preset files downloaded to your computer, you're gonna unzip them by double clicking here. I've already done that. And then it will create a folder for you that has the preview of what the brushes look like. And then you'll also have the ABR file, which is the brush preset Photoshop file. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that ABR file and we're gonna drag it into the Photoshop folder. So this is the applications folder here. You've got Photoshop 2019. And within that folder, you've got your presets. And in the presets folder, you have brushes. Okay, so in here, this is where we're going to copy and paste the ABR file. Okay, boom. And now we have the clouds by Mila in the preset brushes folder in Photoshop. Okay, now to import the presets into Photoshop, you're gonna go up here to the edit menu and you're gonna scroll down to presets. Under presets, you're gonna to go to export import presets. Okay, when you click that, it's gonna give you a little source window and you're gonna select import folder. Okay, then you're gonna navigate over to wherever you saved those files. Okay, we're gonna open that. And there are the presets, so we're gonna click that. Select presets, import, boom. Import presets. Presets have been imported successfully. Okay. So next, you'll select the brush tool from your tool panel in Photoshop, okay? And up here, you can see that there's a brush settings panel. You're gonna click that, and it's gonna open up your brushes. So click the little tab here where you have all your brushes. Okay, and then you're gonna come to this little hamburger menu right here, and you're gonna click that, and you're gonna import brushes, okay? And once you have that, you're gonna click the clouds by Mila, open and boom, you have it right here now. All of the cloud brushes should be loaded into your brush panel. So you can see here, there's 24 different cloud presets. And if you go over to the brush settings here, there's small icons and you can see the different clouds and how they look. So you can click each cloud brush and you can kind of see what they look like and get a preview of those specific clouds over here. So there's a lot of options, there's a lot you can do and you got everything loaded up, ready to go. Let's make some clouds.
So this is a photo of a moon that I took a while back, and I remember wishing that a cloud would come and float by to give me that kind of werewolf vibe, but it was a cloudless night and it just didn't happen. But with the cloud brush, you can whip up those sweet clouds in literally no time. So I'm gonna create a new layer. So we've created a new layer there, and now on that layer, I am going to come over here, back with the brush, and put some clouds. So it looks good, but maybe it's a little too much cloud. So I'm gonna come over here to the layers and I'm gonna adjust the opacity and bring it down a little. So see, by doing that, it looks a little bit more realistic. And you can also come and adjust the blending layers. I like uh, screen can look pretty realistic or um, sometimes color dodge. And you can blend them to your taste and how you like to have them look in your photos. Okay, let's do another one, that was pretty fun. So this is a photo I took in downtown St. Pete and it was a pretty much a cloudless day. So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna select, uh, let's try 513, this brush. I'm gonna bring up the size of it and I am going to try throwing a few clouds in there. There's a big open empty space there. So um, it seems like it would be a good opportunity to put some clouds. So with just two clicks, two different sizes there, I've added clouds and it kind of adds a little nice framing element to the birds in the photo. So again, really fast, really quick. You can just click a couple different options. So let's, we like that one. Let's try another uh, cloud just to see what that would look like. All right, so let's try this cloud. This is 1096. So we're gonna try this one. Put a couple of these guys up there. Um, I don't know if I like that one as much, but you know, it's another option for another cloud variation. Let's do one more. Here, let's try 485 and see what this one looks like. So put that one in there, make a little bigger one here, maybe a smaller one up here. And you can mix them up too. If you wanna try 485, this is 415. You wanna make it really cloudy and kind of misty. You can cloud it up a whole lot. Looks like way too much, but again, if that's what you like, you can do it here with these cloud brushes. Now, one of the most interesting cloud brushes they have included in this set is the mushroom cloud. So if you're looking for an A-bomb explosion in your photo, boom. Probably needs to be angled a little bit. Let's rotate that. Atom bomb, blowing up the little ducklings. So if you wanna create a nuclear explosion, pretty handy for post-apocalyptic type stuff. Wow, thanks Film Jams. I would actually like to add some atomic bombs to my demo reel. So I wanna show you how to add some clouds to your videos as well. So let's take a look at that. First, you're gonna create a new Photoshop document and you're gonna create a film and video document and select whatever size you're working with. We're doing 1080p, so we're gonna select that. And then come over here and make sure you select background contents and you wanna make that transparent, okay? So we're gonna create the new document like that. And now we have a transparent document. The next step is to bring up your brushes. Okay, so I'm gonna select clouds 513 I'm gonna make a couple up here in the sky, like that. And then if you wanna see what you're looking at, you can make another layer, put it underneath that one, and you can kinda of see what it'll look like on a darker background. Okay, so that looks like it's a good start. So I'm gonna get rid of that black layer. And then what you're gonna do is save this as a, either a PSD or a PNG. Okay, so save as. Film Jams folder. All right, saving that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to Premiere. Okay, so I have our PSD that we created in Photoshop added to Premiere. And I have it here as a layer that you can see called Video Clouds. And I've put it on top of our other video track. And again, this is our video here that we had before. You can see not a cloud in the sky. And then I overlaid our clouds that we created in Photoshop. And now you can see this is what it looks like. Clouds are up here that we created. Pretty neat. All right, and then if you wanted to add a little more life to the clouds, you could animate them. So you can create a little position scale and add another keyframe down here. And at the beginning, we can have them start there. At the end, maybe they're moved over here. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. So now we've added a little animation to the clouds. Let's take a look. 
You can see they're just ever so slightly moving there. Pretty cool. Let's add a little more. Even getting a little crazier here. Okay, so this is even animated even more. All right, ready? Here we go, the clouds up here that we added. See them slightly blowing in the wind. Or are they? <laughs> and then we can just as easily remove them if we don't like them. And there you go, there's your original video, no clouds. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to add clouds to your video in Adobe Premiere once you create that transparent PSD in Photoshop using the cloud brush. So here's an example where the cloud is small. Okay, now we're gonna increase the size and now the cloud looks a lot more realistic. Now see how that one looks almost identical. What we can do is flip the x-axis like that and now it looks a bit different, so it's not the exact same cloud. And of course, we can change this, the size again, like that. Or we could come up here and just select a different cloud. So let's, let's try this one. So you can combine different clouds like that and give it a more realistic look. Let's try this one here. Maybe this one down here. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. That's looking pretty good. You can come down here and adjust the size. You can flip the X and Y axis. You can adjust the angle, roundness, the spacing, etc. So you have a lot of different possibilities to create very different and unique clouds. All right, well, I hope you like this tutorial on the Cloud Brush. It's a really fun tool to have in your arsenal and it's free, so definitely check it out and download it. I would just say, don't overdo it. It's easy to get carried away and start adding clouds everywhere, which is what I did when I first got it. I put them in my portraits. I put them in my dog photos. I even put them in Aunt Lucy's birthday album. It got a little out of hand. Let us know what you'd like to see in our next video down in the comments below. I'm Christian with Film Jams, and we do new videos every Tuesday and Friday on filmmaking and photography tutorials. And that is not what the cloud filter is for. Tune in next week where we check out the dinosaur brush. Put dinosaurs into all your family photos. Dinosaur brush? What? <laughs>